I got uh, this body reamer and it is the coolest tool ever um, because what you're going to want to end up doing is put the tip and this is super sharp so I mean you don't want to drop this or anything you want to put the tip into the center of the hole and then you're just going to spin and as you can see the numbers on there the numbers on the on this reamer show you the size hole so you've this goes all the way from 2 all the way to 13 and the line you want to use is the top one um, because as you're spinning you'll know that once you reach that line the number below corresponds with that numbering system so I'm going to show you how to use this on this pl plastic piece uh, for the Blockhead Motors Wild one. Um, these are for the number plates, and we're going to end up putting the pin, the, the point, in the center of the hole that I've made, and then we're just going to spin. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So first off, we need to put this into the center of those holes. So if you think if, where my finger is, I'm going to pick a point. Let's go right there. So I've put a temporary hole in there. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it. Make sure this doesn't go through your finger. I'm going to hold it. Oh, wait a second. Make sure that's right. I'm going to hold it so my fingers are on either side. And I'm going to just spin and you can spin it in any direction left or right but you, it will start to dig it out because those are blades on every side of that reamer so we're just gonna spin and now I can see and I can feel it going up through the other side as you can see there on the back side there so we're just gonna continue to spin and you can check periodically just to make sure that it's it's okay. It is so far, so we'll put that back in and we'll spin. And you can feel it and you can see that it's kind of coming apart just like a drill would, but this is easier than doing than using a drill. And I can see that it's not too bad. You can see the markings, see where the three is. So we're just gonna keep spinning. And you can see the three again, but of course it's getting clogged up. So let's just clear that out. Put that back in. You can see where the three marking is. It's at the two. So we're gonna keep spinning. And, you, and it's it works very, very well. So let's make sure that that's, yeah, we can go a little farther. Well, we're pretty much there. See where the three is? And that top line is where the three would be. So you can see the two is above it and the three are below. So if I put that back on, we are pretty much there. So I'm just gonna do a light twist this time. But you see on the back side, all that stuff was coming off. Well, I'm just gonna put this back in the other way, but do it very lightly. And we're gonna shave off all that stuff to clean it up and voila we now have a perfect three millimeter hole which is great because and that's way easier than drilling it so I would highly recommend for any of your uh, the the body post holes or anything that have to be made is to get a body reamer because that it makes it so much easier than drilling um, and you have full control of the speed um, and just make sure you're checking it periodically to make sure for size. But that is how you use a body reamer. So I will continue with my Blockhead Motors uh, number plate build. I'll do the other one um, and we'll move on for that step. But if you're looking at this just as a body reamer, that is a demo of how you use the body reamer.